From the dawn of time we came, moving silently down through the centuries, living many secret lives, struggling to reach the time of the gathering, when the few who remain will battle to the last. No one has ever known we were among you, until now. something to say. It's better to burn out than to fade away. <laughs> Hello everybody, this is Trax and we are back with the Kurgan part two. And in our last adventure, we kind of were finding our feet. We did gain quite a bit of uh, vigor um, and that's because I've got the mod active uh, to simulate the power of an immortal. Um, so we gain um, an attribute, one attribute point every level, and we'll also gain two focus points. So this will basically allow me to emulate the power that an immortal fighter would have, uh, particularly with all the, the quickenings that are going on. Um, we will... We have a perk for riding, and let's go with well strapped. Always nice to have a stronger horse. Okay, in terms of these, uh, like how the f I I'm with the faction, um, the battalions. Um, I gotta be make sure I don't call them the Celts faction. I'm used to playing the Eagle Rising mod, um, but. We're with them, you know, we're looking for the Highlander, obviously, but right now, you know, they just kind of suit, um, I know they're often in wars, they often don't do that well, um, oh, let's participate in this tournament, but, you know, so far so good, it hasn't been too bad, is this a two-handed sword? No, that is, right now, my quest for a two-handed sword is killing me. Alright, let's make sure we win this. Okay, the bowman is trained in on me. Oh, it's intense. Right, please target this man. I keep falling over. It's always a problem. Alright, we got him, boys. Didn't really feel like it did much there, but it's okay. We'll skip, skip, skip. And right, it's uh, four teams of two. I'm with my fee on again, and I have a two-handed sword, which should be my jam. so used to fighting with a shield that the two-handed sword eludes me but hey this is you know an origin story uh i do need to learn how to get better with these uh, two-handed swords though right so another poor tournament but we didn't want the broadsword anyway uh now in terms of the faction not currently at war. Uh, the the early war ended. That's always with. Uh, they always go to war with the Western Imperium early. But in this case, it ended. Not the Western Imperium. Still in Eagle Rising mode. But the Empire uh, ended very early. No real losses. I actually think we gained a castle in this whole palaver. All right, let's lure these 17 men into it. Ambush, as Victor Kurgan needs uh, needs a win. Needs to bloody his axe somewhat. All right, here we go. 
the 17 bravest men in history as why on earth won't you run? Oh, and the guy dies before I even get to him. Oh, decapitation. Horrific. But that's how immortals do. And again, oh. Now they're just annihilated by the cat. Jeez. I feel sorry for these guys, to be honest with you. Uh, it's not over? Is someone left? Oh, there's one bloke. There's one bloke. Alright, he's down. Or is there another? There must be another. I'm not gonna lie. You probably should have ran in the first place. Where is this guy? Beautiful terrain here. Beautiful terrain. This is just perfect as a cavalry man. Okay. Oh, there's four there? Where the hell did they come from? Oh, got hit by a bloody rock. Alright. You wanna play it that way, guys? That's one kill with the bow. Can we get a hat trick? Oh, he's in the foot. Oh, we got the hat trick. We got a bow, a throw, and a chop. What more can we ask for? There's that Celtic diggy music in the background. And I just ride off into the sunset. Okay. So far, so good. The raiders tend to have pretty good loot, so... Nope, we, we are at war. No, no. We're not at war. We're just passing through. No war here, guys. And it seems as though we are going to Glintor, so we're not we're in no rush. But I am slowly working my way through these ranks here. And we da, 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 are rocking on to Dunglanis. Is there a tournament here for me to lose in? No, there is not. You know, the the old adage is I'm not a tournament fighter. You know, I think this is what uh, is it Ned Stark says to Jamie Lannister. You know, I ain't a tournament fighter. He says something to that effect anyway. And that's the excuse that Victor Kurgan is sticking to. He doesn't really put a weight in these. Let's lure these Sea Raiders in. Beautiful. All right, they should have a bit more resistance about them. Um, yeah, so that explains our horrific tournament performance. And we're going to stick with that. Now, I remember in the... Original Mountain Blade Sea Raiders were ridiculously strong, particularly in the Warband variation. Oh, just missed his head there. Ninety-three damage, but no kill. Mate, just run, Jesus! All right, that's the end of them. But apparently, there are some. Other troops somewhere. I don't hear the jiggy Celtic music, so let's just keep our eyes peeled for a wayward sea raider. There's two of them. Oops, a daisy. I'm on the. Th I thought I had my hacks out, and instead I'm throwing. Seventy-six damage. This axe doesn't have the length I need, mate. You're very brave. I'll give you that. Oh, fuck's sake! Victor Kurgan's startling and 
frankly concerning accuracy with this axe aside, we did get a kill there. Ah, of course, rightfully 9% of the loot, which was 12 gold. Beautiful. But I mean, we are earning some good change, uh, roaming around with the Celts, or the Batanians as they're called. I would rather we get into some more, you know, meaningful combat, but right now I'll take it. Hopefully we're not fighting this guy, because that would be a disaster. Now, I have had a few crashes uh, in this uh, game. So, if you see me not ambushing uh, Imperial Caravans, that is why. Um, I've had a few crashes whenever I've tried to do that, basically. Just so you know. Um, but if you do have any questions about the mods I'm running, I'll put them all in the description. Um, there's, there's quite a few, but mostly just, um, smaller gameplay changes. Um, the main one I'm running is serve as a soldier, and otherwise it's, you know, the vanilla factions, as lately everything I've been doing has been, uh, Eagle Rising. So if you do hear me call a faction Roman or something like that, then you know why. Alright, we don't seem to be moving much. Which is frankly concerning me. Oh, there we go. Caladog. Not the most inspiring name in the world, but he does have a pretty decent army in tow. Um, I figure the Batanians will go to war with someone relatively soon. Which should give me some more meaningful combat. And I can also just keep advancing up these ranks here. You know what? Let's just take these 14 guys out. It's only so long I can go before I need the kills. Alright, we've got this terrible axe. We are saving all our gold up for that sword. Two-handed sword if we ever find one. And then I might be able to learn how to fight with it effectively. Where are they? There they are. A ah, nice snowy landscape to ply my trade. I also need a faster horse, not gonna lie. 91 damage. That was good. Oh, they blocked. Oh, and that was nasty. Okay, I can't get anything off here. But we did get some nice power off there. Oh, bloody hell. They've been absolutely smashed. Oh, and that's beautiful. Victor has gained a level. We have lost sound momentarily, so I'll just do a small... And we are back uh, with sound in tow. Now, I do believe I gained a level. That's right, another level. Um, we will focus on... We'll go endurance. We'll go in all-out combat skills here. Um... And I should have two focus points. Well, I'd like to become good at throwing. Ah, and beautiful. All right, for now, we'll refrain from ambushing more looters. Oh, 18 looters, though. Right, I'll, I'll just leave that to the others. And I got one gold for my troubles. But it did give me some tactic skill. That's beautiful. Okay, we are actually engaging a decent amount of looters here. 22. And again on the beautiful snowy landscape. 
I sight the enemy. We missed completely. Let's try it with a throw instead. Victor Kurgan, the thrower, who would have guessed? Alright, and we're out. Despite being completely under barrage, they managed to parry. Oh, this axe. It has no length to it. Alright. And that is a victory. We did some decent damage. Had fun along the way. Now, what we're hoping for is that the Celts battalions, whatever you want to call them, actually get off their arse and go to war soon, as Victor Kurgan is a man who thrives in war. But relatively soon, I will advance another rank and hopefully get access to some better horses as well. Um, I'd like to my riding speed is horrific. I'm stuck right now with the... I think it's the Stumpter Horse. Sumpter Horse, sorry. Uh, anything I can equip which is better? Nope. All right. And, of course, the, the ultimate dream is to lead our own raiding parties and sweep across, playing havoc to all. That is the goal. Right back in Sionan. And if you guys do enjoy my playthroughs, I do have other playthroughs on the the other channel I run with my brother, LT Gaming. And you can check those out in the description as well. Uh, I've got a link to our other channel. Um, but on this channel, just for your knowledge, if you made it this far, I'm going to be uploading longer, um, more frequent playthroughs, which are basically we we can't, we just don't have the time to put on the other channel as we have quite a backlog of videos. So I've decided to create this second channel, which I've had quite a while, and uh, kick off playthroughs of many different games that I otherwise wouldn't get a chance to do playthroughs for. And of course, my favorite game being Mount Blade right now, so... That is, of course, what I'm going to create a playthrough for. Alrighty. I must say, I'm not super impressed by my Celtic friends here. I would have hoped for some form of warfare by now. Alright, we do have some decent combat here, though. Never underestimate how much fun it is killing looters. Okie doke. You guys could just stay out of this. Great. Here I am on my, my slow-ass horse. And we'll just do a drive-by. Miss every shot. Literally every shot. Apart from that one. And if I can ever time this axe properly or get the sense of its length right. I mean, we're getting some good hits off here, but no. Oh dear, guys. I feel sorry for you, I really do. Give me that. This is just too many. There's too much competition. Alright. 4% of the loot. Not the most meaningful engage, but again. We'll take it. Uh. 
and of course, well, time to teach those bastards a lesson. Not really in the lesson giving business, so excuse me. There's 50 men, okay. Victor Kurgan doesn't really listen to orders, though, so. So we're aware that these men crossing here are going to probably take me out before I can even touch them. Oh, we got a hit off. Wow. Right, we are not winning this range battle. These guys are in fact bowmen through and through. And now they're bloody retreating into the water. Quite an effective tactic to avoid being charged. But we got a kill. And we did dismember him. And we're doing decent damage here. I love this. This map is so cool, by the way. Alright, the charge is not really on. We're trotting through the water. They're too strong. You heard it here first. Come on, I can get it. We're walk Yeah! I killed a man at walking speed on my horse. Yeah, victory! All right, we've got two kills. I'm happy about that. This is a step up. Mr. Kurgan is going up in the world. And old Caladog's just running around. He doesn't believe in horses himself. All right, we're very close, though. Let's, let's do a lure here on these mountain bandits. A somewhat tougher troop to fight. I mean, if they're not going to give me war, I'll take killing bandits any day. All right, I'm lined up. I'm actually tipping myself over as I do this. Oh, 94 damage, but no kill. God damn. Let's finish him off with... <laughs> Let's be honest, that was right in the dick, wasn't it? Oh, more damage. Wow. We're really dishing it out here. Oh, decapitation. He was an immortal. I knew I needed that. And again, two immortals in one. Who would have guessed? And wow. I was taken off my horse. Kurgan is down, but he's not out. As we know. Kurgan is not able to be killed. Victor, I've been promoted to tier 3 by Caladog. Cheers, I guess. Feel like we could do a bit more um a bit more fighting if I'm going to be critical, Caladog. Um what do we have? What do we have here? Uh, this is probably what I'm leaning toward. Uh, cla yeah, I'll go. Throwing axes now. I'll go with the trained warrior. I think that's my best bet. However, I will, of course, be a mounted trained warrior because... Not down with the the plebs. Um, this axe, which I kind of loathe, but it's my only two-handed weapon we have. Maybe one-handed weapons wouldn't be so bad. Dare I say it? Um, 
But no, we're going to stick with the two-handed vibe. Um, and also my arrows, because it's always good to have some range in this game. And look at that, 98 gold. What a profitable um, venture. Killing looters and mountain bandits is. They pay me 99 gold now uh, a day. Right, my riding is getting pretty decent. So hopefully in the near future, we're going to actually be able to test this out on some bigger groups of men than these bloody looters. All right, for a, a patrol, this is really actually going quite far from our range, but whatever. Caladog's in charge. And we will look to maybe fight, because I want to check out my new equipment. Ooh, I do have a pole arm now. Victor Kurgan, a pole arm, man? All right, we're climbing this hill very slowly. I mean, there are men who can run faster than this horse, to be honest with you. All right. They're sighted. You know what? I'm going to try it. This actually is a pretty good pole arm. It will give me that length anyway. Wow, they hit me as I came in. Disrupted my flow. But they can't stop the stabs. That's a bit too much range these days. Wow, very good at powering. Never knew it was so easy to parry a uh, man on horseback. But apparently these guys are masters. Master warriors. Not that guy though. Oh, I mean, we're getting some good damage off here. But there is... Not a kill on the horizon. And now they've been absolutely annihilated. I think that may be it for our friends. We won, and that dude is dead. Alright. 28% of loot. It represents the amount of damage I did. It was quite considerable, and I'm going to leave that one to the others. We won. No problem. All right. I am kind of sick of waiting for old Caladog. So I'm going to ask him for some leave. One gold, but apparently it was a thousand gold. And Victor Kurgan is striking out on his own. Oh, I've been engaged by six looters. All right. Can Victor Kurgan beat six men by himself? Not with throws like that, but... Wow, we're also not very damaging with the bows. There we go, there's another. Oh, that was a headshot. There we go. That's what we're after. Those are not what we're after. I mean... Seventy-seven, I'll take it. And a kill. The guy with the pole arm, I do not like. I will not tolerate pole arms here. Pitchfork? What are you thinking? You kill my poor horse. 
Sumter. Oops, a daisy. I keep trying to switch to the pole arm, and I just remembered I do not have it, so I just chopped his arm off instead. Alright, Victor Kurgan. That is how he rolls solo. We'll take everything you have to offer. And thank you for doing business with us. Okie doke. Recruit troops. No, we want to trade. We want to get rid of all this uh, crap we've accumulated. A crude pitchfork. We'll sell that off. And what we are going to look for, however, is a better horse for sure. Hmm. Okay, Sturgeon Chaser. I'm liking what I see. Not much on the old hit points, but we're getting up into some. Cr All right, we'll do the Sturgeon Chaser. Let's do it. All right, we'll keep old Sumter here for his faithful service. Um, and I just actually also want a two-handed weapon that isn't this. An axe, to be honest with you. World arming sword. I mean, okay, we're up into 64,000, no problem. This one's only five grand. That's what I'm after. <laughs> How about a hoe? Maybe a hoe would work. It sounds wrong in my mind, but. All right. Yeah, see, this has a bit more length to it. You know what? I'm going to get rid of that axe. We've got a square two-bit handed axe. And that's what we're going with now. All right. And I'm kind of sick of the Celts. You know, I haven't been very happy with what they've, uh, they've done. So I'm going to go to another faction. I believe I did level up, however. Carrying capacity, no, yes, we want. We want speed. Nomadic traditions. We will give myself a point in endurance. And there's nothing else to take here. So focus points. We'll do scouting. You can never have... What? Well, I'm like going like... Look in the wind now. Alright, we're going to head to the Valadians. They seem a bit more on my speed. 19 looters, that might be a bit much. Let's just make sure we don't get involved with them. Uh... Urundolf. Wow. Deathert. This guy seems like a quality man. They know me as Victor. Mark it down. You should be hearing it a lot. We have King Deathert here. Something I want to discuss and I'll enter your warband as a soldier. Now, I will. We should never have done that because I got to re equip everything. But. That's okay. Light harness, Sturgeon shape. Probably get the horse first. Um, we'll go arrows. A lighter hat, of course, and it looks cooler. Better armor, and better boots. So that's what I think of your equipment. It's shite. But here we are. Lure. Bandits into ambush, why not? I want to check out my new Sturgeon Chaser. So I'm no longer left behind. And we got the new axe. Well, I'm leaving the area, apparently. Alright, am I the fastest man on the... No, I'm not. I'm being smoked. Well, this seems more appropriate. Two damage. Oh, look at that. Oh, that's more like it. And he was an immortal because we took his head. 
There we go. The Valadians, they're much more my speed. I've got my new shovel like axe. It is a thing of beauty. Alrighty, and we're at war with the Empire, which is fine by me. Only 570 men. Hmm. Little little dodge. Oh, let's 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 join these two up. No? Alright. Fine. And we're gonna besiege Legetta with 570 men. A little concerning. Oh, I'm accidentally not reassigned. I wanna forage for supplies. King. Buddy. Al. Is this joining us? Yes. Yeah, six, seven, eight. Ooh. All right, this is ambitious. This is very ambitious. I don't feel as though this is sufficient to take the getter. Probably will be intercepted. And the Empire has pretty decent forces early on. Um, they also have almost a match for us in the town. But hey, Victor Kurgan doesn't question the decisions, he's just here to fight. Alright, we're getting our siege equipment going. Very nice. Rotor is here. Hopefully he's the only one who bloody comes. Alright, there's much bigger force coming, clearly. As we're switching to Gravenator Cast. Gar Garontor Castle, which seems more legit. They are accumulating quite a few armies behind us. Not enough to fight us yet, but now there is. Now they have more than enough to take us out. So we should run. All right, me and Death Bur Durf Thur Bur whatever he's bloody called, we get on like a house on fire. Durthurt, that's his name. Doesn't exactly roll off the tongue. Alright, we should have a fight here, because they're going to definitely attack now. They've got the force to fight us, I would say. And they are. 719. I would have thought it would have been more in their favour. So this is pretty much an equal fight. Uh... I'm not part of any formation because I'm Victor Kurgan. I will just ride around the battlefield willy-nilly. I will follow these guys though. Seems safer. They can cover me. Get some... I'm loving the speed of this horse. Loving it. Alright, we've lost a troop already. Oh, here they are. Here's their cavalry. I will attempt to stop them by missing everything. Oh, take out that fucking horse of that, dude. Right. Ooh, that one hurt. Them, not me, of course. Oh, fucking how did that not take his shield out? This thing is slow as hell, but hits like a goddamn truck. Don't hit my horse. Lots of Axe to shield action. Alright, we can overtake this guy. Seven damage to his horse. What more could you want? Seems like a purely bloody mounted fight right now. 
Man, this guy's shield must be close. Oh, no. Engaging a spearman is always a friggin' terrible idea. 73 damage. Alright, here is some infantry. Easier targets, all in all. No clue if we're winning. Oh my god, I did it again. Charging a spearman is a terrible idea. Alright. A sight. Troop. Oh, on the shield, on the shield. Killed the horse. And that horse. <laughs> Okay, I appear to be like uh, like I hate horses. Um, let me just be clear: the Kurgan does not care. He doesn't discriminate, is what I'm saying. All right, here we go. Oh, <laughs> motherfucker, got it! All right, that is the kill we were looking for. All right, these guys have a sixth sense, and they turn. Three damage to a bloody horse. No, I literally no idea who's winning this fight. And I know this moment I look is when I'm going to get hit by a bloody... Cavalryman. Alright, this thing is so damn slow, i got to time it right. Oh! Poor bloody horse. Oh, that highborn youth was annihilated. And that one. And that. Not so much that one, but someone died there, I'm sure. Oh. Bit of slowdown for a second there, not sure why. Ooh. We are getting horrific damage on people. Wow, I've been stabbed in the back twice there, though. This motherfucker. Those shields are annihilating me. Oof. Wow, they are on me. Holy crap. I also cannot see the bar up the top. Um, as it, my camera covers it, so... I think this battle's going not in our favor. Oh no, we're, we're, we're annihilating them. Okay, that's good. That was a good hit. Didn't get much, uh... Oh my god. Why am I just riding into their troops all the time? Fuck you guys! Alright. I see him, I see him. Oh, on the shield, on the shield. Where are my... Tr there, there. Yes, please. Help me. Okay. I don't know if I'll be able to stand for the end of this combat. Oh my god. Break that line. I need to just get out of here right now. Oh, there's more of them. Jesus. Where's our lines? Okay, here they are. I will hide behind our men. Alright, we've got one of our guys being absolutely munted. Fight by the water, just what I'm after. 
Oh, I'll take that motherfucker. Holy moly, where did that guy come from? Just fell off the cliff. Victor Kurgan, he becomes an accomplished archer, archer later in life, but right now he's awful. All right, they seem to have big numbers down here. Oh my god, it's all them. How do I keep ending up in these situations? I'm not entirely sure, but... Wow, that was a intense... All right, let's round this corner. They can't keep up with my Sturgy and Chaser. Whoa. Back up into the main combat we go. I, I don't know how we're... I felt like we had way uh, heavier losses, but apparently not. Gotta be careful getting taken off my horse. Like there. Jesus Christ. I am being fired at. So let's just get out of range. Ooh. Okay, man, protect me. Ah. I mean, Victor Kurgan. You'll be the only one. I have something to say. Better to burn out than to fade away. Whoa, that guy's immortal as well. He just went off the top of the cliff. Out a second thought. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, they're blocking. They have far better cavalry than us. I would hate to see the ratio of horse to human damage uh, that has been inflicted. Just really don't want my mount to get lame um, from getting dropped. Right, this guy's there on to me, so I need to. Oh, 103 damage to the horse. What is wrong with me? Right. Ooh. Again, I just hit a horse for no real reason, but it's fine. Right, we will turn. Oh my god, there they are. Ooh, that is a beautiful kill. And another. Oh no, I've stopped. I've stopped. It's death to me. Ah, alright. We're moving again. All right, here we go. Oh no, the Kurgan is down. But at least my horse didn't get dropped. Nine kills. I have no idea how our tactics seem to be beach. Let's hold the beachhead. It is horrific losses for each side, but I think we've won it. And something on my computer is not loving this frame rate anyway. Alright, and it's a victory! The Kurgan wins his first battle with the Vladians. And we feel like we found a home for now. I will leave the video there. Uh, I feel that's a good place to end it. Good bit of action for you guys. And thank you for tuning in. And if you've enjoyed the episode, make sure to leave a comment uh, with your thoughts, your feelings, your your ramblings and musings. And uh, also drop a like as well as it really helps uh, a small channel like this grow. Thank you for tuning in and I'll catch you guys next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>